Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the current season as fast as possible And yes, this isn't a full season now We've got season 9 the pre-season for FC 25 So not only do we get the main man himself Dino for completing this season We also get as you can see at the top here a pack in FC 25 and some people are gonna go Oh, that's only a little pack 84 times 5 at the start of a fever cycle is insane So make sure to drop a like down below if you do enjoy the video subscribe if you're new and let's get into it If you've got a team like this, you're probably fed up of teams like this or this and whether you want your favorite cards as a red foot champs card or maybe you just want some coins to get who you want so you can finally beat the sweats like me then head over to skycoach.gg make sure to pick the amount of coins or rank that you want use pro recall 10 for 10 percent off at checkout and enjoy although i am of the opinion that it's going to be really worthwhile getting to that pack for fc25 what i do understand is we are coming to the end of the game you know even myself i've only really done one of the big current spcs which is me a ham i haven't gone ahead and done any of the kind of newer ones you know the bobby moore who has the same name as me you Sabio, the Larm, Maldini, even Cruyff. I mean, I really like that card. I probably don't do this SBC purely because I can't be bothered. I mean, even though it looks pretty small, and maybe now looking at it, I might. But the point is, I get that the game is getting tired. And, you know, we're 29 days away from the next one. Of course, that's what we're looking for. But you want to be doing the things that are going to be easiest first. Now, in my opinion, always the squad battles method is easiest. What is the squad battle method for those of you who haven't tried it before? Well, if you look at this, every single game I've played so far is semi-pro. Now, I finished last season off in about the last hour that I was awake last night, you know, obviously just because I knew I kind of had to. So I played a few squad battles games. Now, if you actually look at all of these, we've, we've, we've won 14 and 14 nil in two of them. Yes, admittedly, I was actually playing a lot in those because I had a lot of the objectives from some of the old footies cards for the season pass to do. But if we refresh this, you know, because I'm not going to do all the games anyway, if we have a look at what we got here, so 80, 68 and 83 for the rating, obviously this squad is a little bit harder to beat. Whoever's got that squad has actually got quite a nice team. But what I'm trying to say here is actually there's three squads and then you're featured squad which if you play all of them on the semi-pro ranking one we are getting xp for games now two you get xp for finishing them off so remember obviously when i say play i'm not suggesting that you play squad battles what i am suggesting is in order to complete this season pass as quickly as possible you put a squad battles game on in the background of doing something else whether you do it on semi-pro whether you do it on professional you know if you're a really good player you can go on professional score three goals in like 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe less and then you can just leave it because they won't really score much. And if you've got a good team, they're really going to struggle. And what you will find is the AI is pretty useless this year, especially on like semi-pro. It doesn't do a lot. Last night in these games, I mean, if you look at it, oh, I've cleared them now, haven't I? If you look at it, even in the 14s, there was, I think it's 14 and 0, 14 and 1. And in the other game, they'd scored a couple. But like, realistically, I wasn't playing. I was watching Love is Blind on Netflix. It was actually not too bad. But the point is, I wasn't having to play. I got XP, I got objectives done, and I got to go and do something else. So it's kind of a bad burner but you get xp for it which is kind of what you want to be doing at this stage in the game because if you look at what we've got objectives for if we have a look over here in the seasonal section which by the way very very minimal right now we've got this puff collection which is useless we've got weekly objectives and we've got future stars away so equip the future stars away kit and complete the objectives to earn additional xp so realistically this probably isn't a bad idea so you've got a future stars away kit that's probably worth buying they've released this i think today you've then got your weekly objectives and your daily so daily you want to make sure that you're doing these as much as possible we do have a repeatable on the weekly objective so i think this can be done twice which is probably worth getting done and what that means in in a week you need to i mean list seven players how bloody easy is that i mean i did check earlier i was actually going to list seven consumables and then that probably would have been quite frustrating but let's go on the the if i go i think probably better from my club because if you go from the transfer list there it's going to have all of the loans so you don't want that so if we go to the side here we go to the search section and we'll go uh highest quick sell um, and we'll go here and we want to go loans off um, and then we just want to go right so list done list done and literally all you got to do is list seven players so obviously if you're aiming to do the weekly objective twice you have to list 14 players on the transfer market open-ended Oh no, do you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty basic. If you find players, apparently bronzes were going for loads recently. So find some bronzes that were going for a bit. These guys don't even need to sell. It is literally to list seven players in the transfer market. I'm pretty sure we've just, does that does that qualify? Is it? Yeah. So I've just got 450 XP in literally seconds. We've just got an 84 times two. We've closed off some of the seasonal bit there. So we've got that done. 
Um, if we go to the weekly objectives, that's done. All I need to do is play three more squad battles in the background uh, and then do one more of the daily sets, which is very easy. Now, for those of you who want to just do this as quickly as possible, get it out of the way. Of course, the main aim, as I said for me, is not Dino, it is that pack, but Dino is still fun. I know that a lot of people are going to like moan about this season, but Dino is a brilliant card. You're basically getting the second best card in that entire promo for free. I'm still going to enjoy using it. It's going to be fun to have him for, you know, I reckon I'll have him in maybe like two weeks maybe and then like what yeah we've got a few days of the game left and it'll be fun to have in my team like just just have fun it's a game you're meant to have fun so obviously i want to get the let's have a look what this this kit is worth so future stars away so they haven't got future stars home so maybe future stars home is going to appear soon but let's have a look in the store where i'm presuming it's going to show me how much this kit is going to cost i feel like it's probably going to be it, i mean it might be an objective i doubt it is i feel like they 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 do enjoy charging for kits so let's just have a look stadium essential items so future stars future stars away kit i mean i respect oh i actually really like that ball but i'm not going to pay for it but i respect the fact that they they just they make these like almost a requirement you need these kits so we'll get rid of these players quickly all right let's get our kit okay right okay they're gonna do that again are we right i want my bloody kit i just want me kit let's have a look free yeah, if you, it's, do you know what's annoying, yeah, is that the one kit I've actually really liked that I've paid for this season or like this game is the, the Icon Home and Away, but like the, the classic, not the one from Objective. I actually accidentally bought it and I really like the kit, but there's another kit. It's, it's going to cost you 45k. If you don't have 45k at this stage of the game, one, go get 45k. Two, if you want to get 45k, check out my video from, I think, yesterday or the day before. We ran through methods to potentially get coins pretty damn easily using some SBC. So that's going to help you out with that. We've got ourselves Schmeichel. Once again, not the greater the game I want, but we'll always take a 97 because Mia Flaps is going to be in the club soon, which is kind of disappointing now knowing that I'm also going to have Ronaldinho in a couple days. And um, weirdly, just a side note before we go on to more XP, why did I get Griezmann in my rewards this morning from Div Rivals? Like, how weird is that? 1.5 mil barely any of them on the market and just copped him this morning for fun but yeah weird um going on to the other bits of sp we can obviously get now you've got your rivals now i know some people are going to say this is like oh i don't want to play rivals anymore blah 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 Okay, fair enough. Some of you are not going to want to play this game anymore. I get that. But the XP that you get from just doing champs and rivals, I'm still going to do both because I'm not going to lie. I don't really play any other games other than FIFA. Obviously, in my spare time, FIFA is not the only thing I do. You know, I've got friends. I like to box. You know, there's a few other things in there. But if you're going to play FIFA, it is enjoyable. And like, it's it's more enjoyable now to play FIFA than any other time because we all have cracked squads. Like, I've had a pretty cracked squad for like a few months now. But realistically, now everyone's caught up and it's quite fun. And what you get for your XP, obviously, with your, your rivals i mean if we have a look at where i am now if we go to what is it upgrade so you're getting 700 from this and i think you get like i want to say like 1200 from champs or something like that is it like here 45 yeah this was what no i got that last weekend so if we got okay so 11 wins you're going to walk away with one point basically if you get 11 wins and you do rivals roughly 2k xp if you're in a way worse division and you get way worse wins you might get a k but kxp is a kxp the whole season's like 30k like that that's quite a lot bear in mind we've got a few weekends in there i just wouldn't turn my nose up at it it's definitely worth getting it done make sure you're checking the seasonal bits regularly and just you know you've got unlimited xp from games so there is that you've got the squad battles which i'm not gonna lie if you think it's difficult to play squad battles while doing other things honestly just try it i don't know how many of you have multiple monitors or anything like that but i have mine so what you're watching me on right now and what i'm recording this gameplay on is a laptop that is sat here and then to the right i have my screen that i play the game on when i do squad battles i play the game on here and then i watch tv on here and it works pretty well so you've got options there and the only thing that isn't optional is subscribing to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow